welcome to or welcome back to my channel and in today's video I'm going to be filming my 2020 what's on my iPhone 11 but before I get into this video if you are new to my channel please hit that subscribe button right now and be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and without further ado let's get right into this video so I'm gonna have everything screen recorded right here the very first app that I have is iMovie and that's just what I use on my phone for intros and transitions the next app that I have is podcast but now we're just gonna move on to home escape so I'm gonna skip all of the actual Apple apps this is a really fun game you just match the colors to each other and then you can use like these little power-ups. Then I have the What to Expect app. It's uh, for moms that are having babies or moms that have already had their babies. You can just talk to like a group of people and they give you advice for your baby. Next is the iTunes store and then we have Pixar, which is really nice for editing your pictures and also for making thumbnails. Just choose a picture really quick. We're gonna choose this free picture right here and you can do a bunch of different things to it. Super cool effect you can do you can choose the direction they go it's, it's like super cool and then you can like beautify it if you had a face you can fix your face hair color skin tone eye color you can whiten your teeth just a bunch of different stuff the next is the music app and then we have instagram and also if you're not following me on instagram then i would follow i'm gonna leave it right here it is adora to a duh that's my instagram then we have key master which is where you can also edit add audio to your intros or add like effects so for example this is an old intro i had you just can see the words are wiggling that's me <laughs> next we have vaunt which is another intro editor or if you want to edit a snippet of your video and add like a certain type of word to it then this is what you should use. Let me see if I can show you guys really quick. I'm just gonna use this video and show you guys how to do it. You can literally add a text and say, we're just gonna put his name, Alex, and then you can style it just as if you were using Fonto. Next, we can tilt it like this, tilt it like that, and then you can also curve the words too. So you put it right there, and then you can duplicate it, you know, like that. And then you can add zoom out or however, and then you just play your video, and it does that. So it's also, it's a really good app to have if you need help um, editing your intros. Um, it helped me, it was pretty self-explanatory. The next app is the Eraser app. I'm gonna show you guys how it works really quick. We're just gonna use a picture like this and you click Erase and you just erase around the object that you wanna keep. Oh. <laughs> of course you wanna do it neater, like this is really good for thumbnails. You want to do it neater, so that's just the gist of the app, and you can just save it to your camera. On. The next app we have is the Pink Nation app. I don't really use it, I just like the fact that it's pink. Then we have health, we have news, we have Pinterest, which Pinterest is like my favorite app because it gives you so many different categories and so many different tips and recipes. Very helpful app all around. Next, we have YouTube Studio, it just tells you all your analytics and everything as if you were on your computer on YouTube Studio, but it's just on your phone. Then we have YouTube Track. It keeps track of everything that you have going on, like your subscribers, your watch hours. Then you have the actual YouTube app, which all of you are familiar with because you're watching my video on it right now. The next app is TurboTax. Then we have the Target Circle app, which you can earn points and rewards. Like as you can see, Target Circle earning benefits. I have a dollar available to spend. Then we have the Capital One app for credit cards. Then we have Fonto. You just add a photo or you create a project and then you can play in images and then you can change the color, apply. And yeah, we're just gonna use this, use and save. And then you just add your text, you put it here. And it's just the same thing as if you were using Vaunt. So the next app that I have is Sally Beauty to collect my rewards whenever I shop there. Chick-fil-A, which is to also collect my reward and to order ahead because Chick-fil-A is like always packed. Then you have your sub count. You can literally type in any YouTube name, but I just keep mine typed in there to keep track of my own. Then I have Panda Express, it's also to order food. Dish Anywhere is an app that my mom told me about. You can watch TV, you can watch movies, you can watch recordings that the person has on their thing. Yeah, it's very convenient. Like my mom is in a completely different state and I can watch whatever she has on her TV at the time. I have the Poshmark app, which is where you can buy and sell clothes. So like if you shop, you can type in Adam and people sell their stuff. The next app that I have is the Chipotle app. It's also to collect rewards, so I like to plan ahead of time 
in order before I get there. The next app that I have is Boggle. It's a lot like Scrabble. Fun, you can earn like prizes. Then I have SoundCloud, I have Ulta Beauty, Book, Hand Talk, which is an American Sign Language app. And you can tell him to go slow, normal, or fast when he explains it. And then I'm just gonna type in, hi, how are you? And he's going to sign it to me so that I can learn. And then also with this app, it's very nice because you can just click on it and you can play memory games and a bunch of stuff like that. And then it also gives you tutorials like an actual person signing to you so that you can learn. Next is the home app, tips. Then we have Jamba Juice, which is a smoothie place. And you can also earn points here. And then we have the Ovia Fertility app that tells you when you are most likely to become pregnant and your fertility score for that phase you're in. And then it just like gives you tips. Next is notes. Then then we have my sprint which is where i pay my phone bill at and then we have snapchat then we have pocket video we're just going to pick a random video right here would be good and you can just filter it how you want you can adjust the brightness the exposure and all that good stuff but that is also a good app to use when you are editing your intros or outros and just like videos that you will be posting somewhere and next we have wayfair which i use for furniture shopping fidelity investment can invest in the stocks next we have duolingo which is like a language app right now i'm learning spanish and japanese and you can choose any language that you want and we're just gonna take a quick quiz to show you guys like if you get it wrong they say oops no try again you know it's like a pop quiz almost so it's super super good for when you are trying to learn a different language next is cash app and then we have phone messages and facetime and maps and then we have bitmoji which is where you can edit or customize your avatar for snapchat you can change your hair color to anything that you want change your facial structure and everything change your outfit i'm just gonna change my top to this and and then you can change the color, which is also super cool. The next app that I have is Find My iPhone. Then I have Starbucks to collect like awards and stuff. Then I have Credit Karma. I have Bye Bye Baby, which is like Babies Are Us, but the Bed Bath & Beyond version of baby stuff. Uh, then I have the Ovia Pregnancy app, which is for like tracking your pregnancy super cool to have next we have Waze, and that is like the best app in my opinion it'll tell you like how fast you're going like you can see the mile per hour it tells you caution signs and then police and then expect delays so yeah guys i would definitely check out the Waze app the next app is video star and if you want to do like the bare minimum and you already have your graphics on your video that you want to create and you just want to add like, you know, the wiggly effect to your word, like you see here. I would suggest this app, but other than that, it's really nothing spectacular. Next we have Amazon, a firm which is to pay bills. And then we have Motion Portrait, which is super cool. Let me show you. We're gonna go to edit this. So you just line up the eyes and the mouth to your picture, like so, and then hit okay. And then as you can see, the picture will be moving to how your mouth is talking and how your eyes are blinking. So I thought that was really cool. The app that I suggest is the Shazam app. You just tap and then it listens to the song that you're trying to find and then it'll pull up what the song is. Next we have files, then we have Safari, then we have the email app, and then we have Payday, which is gonna take too long to buffer up, so I'm not gonna show you guys that app, but I do suggest getting it because it is a very fun game. The next app that I have is the weather app, and then we have SpongeBob cooking app which is super fun i'm going to show you guys you just cook your food and then serve it to the customers that come in so you just want to serve as much food as you can and get as many coins in the shortest amount of time that you can that app is super fun i would definitely recommend getting that the next app is the app store and then i have twitter then i have the zoom then i have subway surfers it came back because of tiktok so i downloaded it because it's super fun then there's zillow where you can find like apartments or houses for sale in your area and then we have best buy centurylink which is an internet service usaa which is my bank bond touch which is like it links my husband and i's bracelets together and if you tap it then it'll buzz their bracelet as well the next app i have is walmart and then i have shortcut and then i have cool font which you can hook your keyboard up to this and your settings get different fonts so as you can see right here you have like all these different fonts that you can choose from and the next app that i have is setting camera and zoffel and then i have clock the watch app and then reports followers which is where you can see all of your instagram statistics and you can see who unfollowed you who you're not following back it'll just show you all of the insight and statistics of your account it shows you who blocked you new followers followers you lost so i would recommend getting that if you're someone that cares about statistics on instagram the next app that i have is tiktok it literally 
consumes most of my day. It's so funny. If you don't have TikTok, I would recommend getting it. Next is the activity app for the watch. And then I have Fashion Nova, Pretty Little Thing, and Camera Connect, which is an app you can connect your camera to. If you hit a button on the side of your camera, then it'll pull up a password for you to enter on your phone. And then you can transfer any videos or pictures from your camera to your phone. And then the next and final app that I have and that I use is the Tammy Fit app, which is app where she's like working out. And I think it's like $15, $16 a month. But that is all that I have for you guys today. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed this video, give this video a big thumbs up and be sure to hit that subscribe button below. <laughs> also, check out my recent videos and all my other videos if you want to, if you have time. But yeah, that is all I have for this video. And thank you guys for watching. Bye.